because I thought Smurfette said something. Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny. In this video, I'll be sharing with you all my current beauty routine. Basically everything that goes down in my bathroom today. Mostly skincare as well as everything that I do in the shower. A whole lot of things, okay? Special thank you to Tammy for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's start off by lighting some candles. I've burned down all of my Frozen Lake candle from Bath & Body Works. So I'm going to swap it out with this bergamot and musk wolf and lamb candle that I picked up from Ross. I'm also going to power on my LED candles. I picked these up from the at home store or you can get these from amazon.com. I'm going to add a few drops of eucalyptus essential oil to my pluggable diffuser just to hide in the senses in the room. I'm going to turn on my LED vanity strip mirror lights. This will give me an extra source of light when we power off the overhead light later in the video. So before I go ahead and do my skincare routine, I want to show you all what my skin is looking like up close. No filters or anything on the camera. Lately, I've just been getting a lot of discoloration around my mouth. Unfortunately, I've just been having like different little areas of red. I don't know why, it's out of nowhere. Sometimes every now and then, I get like little small bumps on my face. But so I always start off with the cleanser. First step, obviously, is to cleanse. Since I don't have on any makeup, I don't necessarily need to double cleanse. Just massage this all over. Sometimes I use my Clarice Sonic if I've worn makeup or if I feel that I need to do a deep clean. But just for today, I'm going to just use my hands. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off with warm to cool water, not too hot because hot water is kind of drying on the skin. After I've cleansed my face, I like to go ahead and apply a face mask. Today's video is sponsored by Teamy. Today, we're going to be using the new Teamy Beauty Mask. So, this is the restorative beauty mask. And with products, I do like to follow what the directions say. That way, I feel like I get the best results. So, I've been using this for about a week now. You can apply this with your hands or you can just use a brush. The brush just makes me feel kind of bougie. I'm always into what I call face mask Fridays. So that's like a way to help me to remember to apply my mask. When I read the packaging and it was saying that I could actually use this mask one to four times a week, I was just like, really? It also has kale and clay in it. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It's like a gentle exfoliator, basically. And since this is a restoring mask, it's just gonna help to bring back the balance of my skin. It's gentle, but it's effective. It feels really calm and it's blue, so it definitely gives me Smurfette vibes. Mm. Y'all know I like to multitask so while that's sitting we're gonna go ahead now and get my shower ready so i wanted to show you all this that i got this is the chronic pain and chronic pain and fatigue body soak y'all know i always normally go for the dr tills epsom salt but when i saw this one i got this body soak since i take a lot more baths lately blueberry and ginger to nourish and soothe flexi oil d ribose oh that, that makes me remember bioorganic chemistry <laughs> <laughs> I hated and loved that class at the same time. Epsom salt and sea salt. Good things on the back. I just grabbed this at Walmart out. And also to scoop. I was going to order like an actual scoop or something on Amazon. But then I saw this one. And like the little birthday party section. It's like a candy scoop. And I was like this would be perfect for getting my Epsom salt up with. So I already have some of the Dr. Till's Epsom salt in there. I'm just going to pour this one on top. And then it'll kind of just be like layers. That's as much as will fit. I already washed this, so you know. Actually, I guess I'll lay it right here. There's that. I got a package. Uh, I got a package. Uh. <laughs> I got that from Nicole TV here on YouTube. The rest of this will be a hype lapse for your viewing pleasure. So I ordered myself this bamboo bathtub caddy track from Amazon just so that I can level up my bubble bath game, okay? It is adjustable for most bathtubs. It goes from like 29 inches all the way up to 42. It does have a foot stand on it. You can use this as a breakfast tray, a standing desk, a book tray when you're reading. This caddy helps give me spa-like vibes at home, which is perfect to relax. To start off my bath, I'm taking the Village Naturals Therapy Chronic Pain and Fatigue body soak this body soak is infused with ingredients that are ideal for muscle and joint discomfort even if you don't need it for that purpose you can still use this to give your body and your mind time to relax and rehydrate that way you can get back to feeling like yourself again to transform an everyday bath into an extraordinary self-care experience add in some bubble bath i'm going to also go ahead and light my tea light candles i got this tray from amazon as well as this led floral light which is waterproof and this will also up our bubble bath game shout out to my little sister bone she's the influence behind this purchase I was watching her spa night video on her YouTube channel and it was such a flex I was like I gotta get one of these what she say if the bath don't glow don't show it but I want to tweak it to say if the bubble bath don't glow we don't want to know oh my god it's changing <laughs> with me doing it under the water 
Let's do flash. I also am going to light my petite candle. I picked this up from Walmart. It's by Woodwick, so it crackles as it burns. Transform your bath from basic to a full blown out spa session with whatever other items you want to add. Of course, I'm gonna have something to sip on, some fruit snacks, and I'm gonna roll up this towel to use on my face. On the back of my Equation Bubble Bath packaging, it shows how you can build your own bath. We have the Epsom salt and the bubbles. So next up is just either a bath balm or oil. So I'm just going to use my Avon Skin So Soft Comforting Shea Bath Oil. And of course, we have to have the background music. So I'm going to open up my Pandora app and I'm just going to switch it to Relaxation Radio. This caddy does have designated slots for you to place your things. My phone can either go there or here. You can also place a tablet there. I'm a little more comfortable with having my phone since it's water resistant. I did pick up these battery operated candles from Dollar Tree a few years ago. Now for my favorite part, turning off the lights. This is what our luxury spa at home is looking like. I do like to leave all of the lights off, which is why I kind of light a few candles just to give me a different source of light and it helps to really relax. So to get my braids out of the way, I'm taking this larger bunny and I'm just going to clip that up. That way my hair does not get wet. Bubble baths serve many purposes. For me in this moment, it's a way for me to hydrate my skin, relax my muscles, relax my mind, remove any chaotic thoughts that you may be having. So I have my caddy all set up, that way I can easily access all of my bath essentials. Once I'm done relaxing, I'm going to go ahead and begin my bathing process. I'm currently using the Dow White Antibacterial Soap. This one is good for cleaning and is non-drying. Different soaps and body washes serve different purposes. Some are good at moisturizing. Some have claims for removing body odor, bad bacteria, all of that. So I always like to start with my antibacterial soap first. This isn't the entire bathing process. Whenever I do a bath, a shower always follows for rinsing. So I'm gonna put out all of the candles so that I don't start a fire when I pull my curtain. Now, and start off with hair removal. I'm using my Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. This one is coconut lime. I'm just going to massage this all over my body in circular motions. Exfoliating removes dirt and dead skin cells from the surface of your skin, which helps to keep your skin clean. It unclogs your pores, and it also helps to give you a closer shave. Speaking of shaving, my two choices for hair removal, I either use Nair, or I'll just use a shaving cream and a razor. I like to do what's called Shave Saturdays. It's catchy, and it helps me to remember to remove the hair at least once a week. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. So I remove the hair from underneath my armpits as well. And for the bikini area, I actually use Nair. If you got a mirror and you can squat, you can get some things done, sis. <laughs> if you follow Jay Nice on Instagram, then you know the vibes. Nair, tan skin, coconut oil. I alternate between using my bath towel as well as my loofah, and I make sure that I'm getting in between different creases of the body, washing all over head to toe. For my bikini area, I'm using the Summer's Eve Cleansing Wash. I don't want to beat around the bush when it comes to explaining feminine washing. I feel like someone that's younger can benefit more from just a plain and simple explanation. I like to use my hands when I wash my bikini area, and then I start washing my butt. I also do my armpits since this product is pH balanced. That way I'm at least covering all three areas where the body can store odor. If this product, any cleansing wash that you use, is external use only. In layman's terms, that means that this product should not be inserted up inside of your body. Just wash the outside where your hands will naturally touch. So once I'm done with all of my washing, before I pat dry, I like to go ahead and apply body oil. And since you're clean, be sure to clean up behind yourself. So this is what my face looks like now that I'm out of the shower. I went ahead and rinsed my face off further over the sink, but I like to try to get a majority of it off in the shower. That way everything can just run down. When I was rinsing it off, oh, you know how smooth your skin feels? Like when you do derma planning, the hair is not removed, but my skin is really smooth as you all can see, and it feels much more calm, radiant, well balanced. And then that dryness and stuff that I was having around my mouth is not really there anymore. A face mask is key and essential in your skincare routine. This this is really my skin y'all this is what I'm looking like this is just a moisturizer I'm applying right now I don't really feel the little small bumps or the texture that I was feeling at first so after my moisturizer I like to take the oil the Timmy repair tea infused oil this one has chamomile flour in it I've been using this oil all over honestly I like oils that are multi-purpose where you don't just have to use them on the face I just take a little bit out on the dropper I kind of take a lot <laughs> I like to apply this all over my skin to lock in that moisture before I pat dry because it has 
as like renewing properties for our skin. Also, you want to get your neck as well. And then I roll upwards like this. But it has vitamin E in it, which is really good and rich in antioxidants. It's also very hydrating. The jojoba oil is actually very close to our skin's own natural oils. It's immediately able to just penetrate into the skin. Kind of do like a massaging motion. I like to rub up instead of down to make sure my skin doesn't sag. But even though we applied oil, my skin does not feel oily. It's smooth and glowy. I don't really have any texture within my skin. See, I don't have any dryness anymore. Mm. Mm -mm. So I've been using this face mask and this is what my skin is currently looking like. Hopefully you all can see it. I don't have a filter or anything on my camera. It's definitely better than it was before. I was having like a few little small bumps. As far as the complexion of my skin, this is just kind of what it looks like. My skin just feels overall very smooth and clean. If you do want to check out the beauty mask from Tammy as well as the repair oil, which I definitely think y'all should. Coupon code for you all to get 25% off. And that code is DESTINY25. Special thank you to Tammy for sponsoring this video. Links to the mask as well as the hair oil will be in my description box down below. So y'all skin can be glowy and smooth too. For my deodorant, I have two of choice. I'm trying to get into the habit of using just the aluminum free ones. Just because I've read different things that are great about deodorants that don't have aluminum in them. But to be honest, I use men's deodorant. For me, it's stronger. Like... I just like it. Um, if I'm just around the house or something like that, this is the one I've been using lately. It's the Dr. Till's Aluminum Free Deodorant. It has magnesium, shea butter, and essential oils. And again, jojoba oil. So jojoba oil is like one of the oils that's closest to our own skin's natural oils. And then you have to use the body, your own body heat to warm up the product. So sometimes it's a little friction when I'm applying this, but since my armpits have, had, have been down, it means that they're kind of warmed in that area. It'll help it to glide on a little bit smoother. I guess I should have had on the tank top for doing this, but I just go up and down and up and down. If I'm about to step outside, then I'll go ahead and grab this one. Ooh, look at that Barbie. <laughs> These are my current two deodorants of choice. If I'm going to the gym or something, or if I'm doing anything outside related, and I live in Memphis, it gets hot. I'll use the X, I'll use the Degree. I like ones that go on clear, so sometimes I'll go with the ones that's like this blue gel color. And you just apply this to your underarms. This one is Phoenix. One. Hey, I'm currently using the Sensitive Whitening Toothpaste by Colgate. I can't find the Enamel Health one that I normally use. I think they discontinued it. I just also use my electric toothbrush. I think that's pretty much it, y'all, for my skincare. What I do for my face as well as in the shower. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. Be sure to check out all of the products in my description box if you all are interested in any of the items that I've shown in this video. Again, special thank you to Tammy for sponsoring today's video as well. If you like videos like this and want to see more, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way I will know that you all enjoy this one. And if you're still here, I would love it if you all would subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's absolutely free. The routine videos are like they're becoming my favorite style of videos to create. Stay tuned for more routine videos. I hope you all enjoyed this one. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching. Bye. So this video was edited for your viewing pleasure. If I should cover any other topics thoroughly in depth, then definitely let me know. On the screen to your right, if you want to check out more videos, I've linked my top 15 beauty products under $15, as well as my morning routine.